Each week, U.S. Bank brings us stories of inspirational athletes who amaze us. Aubrey, this week we meet Omari Taylor, thrilled to be celebrating a state championship just weeks after the tragic death of his older brother. This is Omari Taylor running wild in the NCS title game. Omari runs for 175 yards and two touchdowns in this game. A Halloween night of fun turns deadly. Four people killed, another four hurt. Amari's performance coming just one month after his brother Omar was shot and killed in a Halloween night shooting in Orinda. A friend of Omar Taylor posted a photo of him on social media saying he was one of the four killed. Amari looked up to his older brother who was Superman in his eyes. He could do anything. If you need him to fix something, he's going to fix it. He can make beads. He could rap. He could DJ. He could play football, play sports. He did everything. Like, he was amazing. After that NCS title win in a team interview, Omari talked about adversity, not just for himself, but for his team. Oh, man, it was a dog fight, but we came out here. Uh, adversity all year and you know what we came out here and we did our thing like we always do every week we come out we work hard every all week and we came out here and we did our thing. Omari was crushed to lose his brother but even the next day he was determined to carry on. Uh, it was just so strange you know it was, uh, it was unbelievable to to hear something like that and then you know Halloween it just happened and obviously it was day after Halloween and he kind of just let it all out but the thing that I, I saw him is he didn't want to necessarily go home he wanted to stay with his his brothers and his teammates. In the three games following his brother's death Omari ran for 602 yards and eight touchdowns succeeding despite his despair. Man, uh, I wasn't so I was just more like in shock, I, it was like a disbelief, sort of like it was like a movie. You know, I couldn't believe it. It was, just, it was like a big blur. Yeah, I mean, I deal with this every day. Like, you know, I keep, I look at his pictures through my phone. I go back and replay messages we have to each other. I mean, it's tough. I mean, as a parent, you never expect to bury your child. You just don't. Omari Jr. was working as a DJ that fateful night. He loved music and hoped to make it big someday. See, that was his passion. I mean, he wanted to make it big one day and be one of the next biggest DJs to come out. But I always told him, I'm like, hey, man, you got to have money first. You know what I mean? I mean, chasing your dream is chasing your dream, but you got a kid. You got to take care of your kid. So that being said, you got to work. His little brother is doing everything right, excelling on the football field and in the classroom. Still, it's hard for Omari to understand how this can happen. I don't know. I think people need to just open their eyes and see the bigger picture. Like, I mean, it's, it's more to life, I mean, than just going out every day or just whatever they doing, like killing people and killing each other. Like, we should help each other, we should pick each other up, like try to be successful, go out and do something else. You know, we get a, whatever. I don't, I don't know. I just don't think that type of lifestyle is like the lifestyle anybody should be living. Amari is looking to sign with the top college to play football. He's a junior this year, so he'll have some time to shine again next season at Clayton Valley. Exactly, and the defending state champions, Clayton Valley Ugly Eagles. Very